It's time to bring my builds to the next level. You guys ever think about what would have happened if they decided to make the underworld connected to the overworld? If the chunks were one to one and you broke through bedrock down at the very bottom, down at level zero, would you be able to just take a chunk out, falling right into your nether by growing and breaking the bedrock? It's just an interesting concept, and it was something that I thought about recently with the borders that have been implemented into the game. What would it look like? What would it be like? How would it change the game? So I went ahead and decided to create something with LEGO. I've been thinking about it a long time. I wanted to make a display. My display had to be something that could still be played with because I wanted to be able to make it friendly for my child to still come in and say, hey Pop, can I sit down and play with the, the micro world stuff? But at the same time, I wanted to, to really represent Minecraft. I wanted to make up for all of the stuff that the actual Lego sets lacked. And I sat out to do it and I think I accomplished it. Let's go ahead and break this down into its segments here. The first section we're going to look at is the outside of the overworld. The top layer. Where even Tree Pig can be represented. I put the concepts of the village set in and I wanted to add in reali realism. So we added in things like the coal that you see here in the front. We added in things like the creeper hole to really put a place in effect that felt like the game. Iron, more coal, surface coal. Um, and then we went into the village concept and I wanted to make sure that the colors were there. I added in a zombie on fire as it was daytime. We added in a few concepts that I got from Mega John John 77 with a blacksmith, an actual blacksmith villager. Adding in villagers talking. We even put in a Enderman to really sell the concept of an overworld. And If you look very close, we even have things like the colorations in the grass around the desert biome is a lighter green. We even put in a cactus in the desert biome. Trying to make things that really, really set this apart and made it more realistic to the game. Uh, hopefully bringing back all the things that the LEGO sets just kind of failed on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the caving systems that are implemented in this. The first thing you're going to notice about the caving system is that it doesn't have as many layers as it should and of course we're not going to do that because then this thing would have been three or four feet tall. But what we did do is we added Steve in looking for those valuable resources. Even came in with the idea of him holding a pick. We still have the blowout wall which is one of the things that I did like about the Lego sets. Adding in the function of dynamite and really selling the idea of Steve actually caving down below. I went so far as to add in things like a water drop. Uh, there's a double chest here. We got a workbench and even a bed like he has been spending multiple nights down below. And just like in the real game, the zombies are tracking him just like a parade. I also added another Enderman in down here, always leaving those grass blocks behind as we have gotten used to. And then we even added in our nether portal back in the cave. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other features here. We got some lava. We got some obsidian, uh, even got a little bit of gold and more redstone in the sides here. But something else, I tried to make it look like you actually could walk down there. So I added some steps in a cave section there. I hope that the atmosphere is there. I tried really hard. Uh, a lot of 
suggestions and comments made by my son about how we could make this better. A uh, simple thing like this, if you put the light behind, you're going to see light through the portal itself. And that was something that could have easily been ignored if it wasn't for just a little bit extra time and attention to detail. As you can see, putting back on the top layer to sandwich it back together works pretty flawlessly. I added in a lot of smooth tile with just a few connection points. And this was so that we could separate it and actually play inside of the caving system. The nether was a challenge. I rebuilt this section alone three, no, rebuilt it two times. And I didn't want it to be bulky. I wanted it to be available to get fingers and hands in there. And I wanted to make sure that we had everything implemented correctly. The glowstone, for instance. When they made the glowstone in the nether set, it was pitiful. It wasn't even accurate to scale for their own thing. We got the nether portal in here. We implemented a new feature for uh, what is essential as a nether set, and that was putting in an actual stronghold center with a blaze spawner and some blaze. And the blaze setup we chose uh, worked well. I'm sure there's some better solutions out there, but nothing that I have seen that I really like the way it looks. Of course, you got your pigmen, and you even got the ghast kind of peeking his head out at you. Uh, wanted to give an illusion in the background, if you look at the black back there, of it continuing on like it was almost an opening in one of the archways and stuff and even though the scale is somewhat incorrect as far as where things are located I think we did a pretty good job. There's another look at it in its full size scale um, pretty large I'd say about 16 inches in total maybe a little bit taller with the tree there's a picture of my hand so you can get an image of it. And I said we a lot during this. And the reason why I say we is because my son helped me out a lot with this one. Just bouncing ideas off of each other, trying to make sure that we get things looking right. Even adding in the concept of the bedrock in between layers and actually putting the pitted look in there. It's something that I really enjoyed the outcome of and I hope you guys at home do too. Uh, I'm sorry for it being late, but hopefully you get an idea as to why it was so. As usual, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget that like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.